on the issue of the cost of living, I, and I'm just going to talk about the cost of living uh, in a more ge- in more general terms. Uh, uh, of course, of which uh, public transport is but one component. Uh, you know, as much as um, many of us, obviously not all of us in here, uh, you know, uh, are sitting here really getting by, there is a very significant segment of the Singapore population that that is hurting, that is under tremendous financial pressure. I say this because we come into contact with them as we get onto the ground. We have members in our party uh, who are of that segment. I know of at least one person who is 81 years old, has a 79-year-old wife who's incapacitated, a 59-year-old daughter who's disabled, and he works as a security guard, 60 hours a week. The norm is 44 hours. An 80-year-old working 60 hours a week gets paid $1,000 a month. That's the reality. That's the reality of this high, very modern, very rich Singapore. And I just want as privileged as all of us here are, never to stop thinking that there are people out there who need a voice. As ministers pay themselves $4 million a year, there are people there who cannot get by. There is the shop and save close to where I live. If you go to it, say at about, that's 24 hours. If you go at about 11 in the night, at night, you see a whole horde of ladies in the 60s and the 70s just standing, waiting outside the cashier line. And what are they doing? They're waiting for you to collect those stamps, which you might not want. They can collect those stamps and exchange them for food. They can go in there and purchase it for, for whatever groceries that they want to get. This, to me, is a system gone mad. When you have ministers paying themselves 30 months bonuses and you leave people starving, homeless on the streets. But I think perhaps you, can, you could tell us what is the SDP's proposal to overcome this because this is a situation, it's not a, 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 what, a what policy. What we need is to allow a system whereby there can be peop- there can be a free debate People say, yeah, but democracy won't put food on the table, will it? Well, think again. If you haven't got a free democratic system, how are people going to be able to to represent the disenfranchised, get into parliament, ensure that there are policies, ensure that the uh, uh, policies such as minimum wage, which we're advocating, retrenchment benefits for people who suddenly find themselves out of no fault of their own, out of a job, but your bills continue to pile up, and you don't have any money to pay them with. So these are some of the things that we can do. But before we can get into Parliament, we need a system which will enable voters to have this informed choice, cast votes for the, the, uh, the candidates and the parties that advocate for them on a free and fair basis. That's what we're talking about. Thank you. Yeah, I thought we were talking about transport, but anyway. Um, I, I'm just a bit surprised because, you know, um, I, I feel for the people that Dr. Chi has mentioned, and there is help and assistance out there. And I, I'm not going to cover the transport specifically, but generally, I think the answer, and as you well know, the, the, the PAP's position is that targeted assistance is the best position and the best help that we can give. And there is targeted assistance for all the cases that Dr. Chi has mentioned. All they need to do is come forward. I'm just a bit surprised because, you know, after giving us those. Uh, accounts that he then, his solution is, let's talk about it. You know, that is not the solution. The solution is out there. The targeted assistance is available. I don't want to go through the whole slew because, you know, you've just gone through the budget, you're aware of it. But the targeted assistance is available. What we don't want to see and what the PAP doesn't want to see is to have across the board subsidies of public transport and other things where People who don't need them benefit from them. 
So we prefer to target the assistance that is available.